where I grew up, it was like Pleasantville. All the neighbors knew everybody. And now it's gone in the, it's a mud, mud city. So they call it mud city now. It happened the night when I was getting an award from the 29th annual Kamana at uh, CBS. It's for Outstanding Singer Songwriter of the Year. The claps were like thunder for me. I was so happy and excited. But then I got home and everybody's talking about uh, the typhoon on Doi or Kitsana. I realized that, wow, you know, I got this, I got this award and people were clapping for me. And uh, I had relatives there who were also hearing claps of the rain on their face while they're on the roof begging for help. And I heard that the rain was really bad. It was, it was hurting their face. It was just thunder. The flood was up to the ceiling. I could just imagine like trying to survive, not knowing if you're gonna live that day or if it's your last. And there I was, like getting an award, <laughs> eating good food, socializing with like rich people, dressed in you know expensive clothing. And over there, they have no clothes. They have no food. I found out they haven't eaten for like a couple of days. I shouldn't feel guilty because I took action. My house is a relief center. <laughs> it's become like a drop-off center for all my friends, all my brother's friends, my mom's buddies. Like everybody's just dropping off clothing, canned goods. And uh, we're working on um, sorting out hundreds of uh, pieces to age and size. And it's a lot of work. Oh